As the ceremony was held, hundreds of people gathered in Washington, D.C. for a pro-firearm rally on Capitol Hill. Speakers urged the crowd to support lawmakers who oppose gun control. The right-wing Chicago radio host Eric Muller was among those to attend. My message to the federal government is obey the laws. We have a right to have guns. I live in the city of Chicago. It is a bloodbath, and uh, I don't have a right to protect my family. The average response time, 911 call, is 15 minutes. 15 minutes, I don't have that kind of time. I need a gun to protect myself. It's my right as an American. Another pro-gun rally was also held nearby in Virginia, where attendees openly carried guns on their hips and over their shoulders. It was the first armed rally in a national park since President Obama signed a law authorizing weapons in national parks last year. The pro-gun rallies were also held within hours of a murder-suicide shooting in Tennessee. A gunman shot three women in a hospital waiting area, killing one and wounding the two others. He then turned the gun on himself, taking his own life. At least one of the surviving victims is in critical condition. The news website ProPublica is reporting the Obama administration is preparing to nominate a leading white-collar criminal defense attorney to serve as deputy attorney general. James Cole previously served at the Justice Department's Public Integrity Division under the Clinton administration. Since entering private practice, Cole's clients have included the failed insurance giant AIG, where he served as an independent monitor until last year. Independent Senator Joseph Lieberman of Connecticut and Republican Senator Susan Collins have subpoenaed the Obama administration for information relating to last year's deadly shootings at the Fort Hood military base. The senators say government officials have ignored their request for information on what was known about the gunman, Army psychiatrist Nadal Hassan, before the attack that left 13 people dead. The subpoenas are the first congressional subpoenas of the Obama presidency. Arizona has moved a step closer to enacting what's being described as the harshest anti-immigrant measure in the country. On Monday, the Arizona State Senate approved a revised version of a bill that would force police officers to determine the immigration status of someone they suspect of being an undocumented immigrant. The Arizona House passed the measure last week. Republican Governor Jan Brewer is expected to sign it into law within the next five days. Immigrant rights groups say they might seek federal intervention to overturn the bill. And in Pennsylvania, a suburban Philadelphia school district has admitted to capturing at least 56,000 photographs and screenshots from cameras on computer laptops issued to its students. The Lower Marion School District has previously acknowledged it monitored students by remotely activating the laptop's cameras. School officials have claimed they were trying to recover missing or stolen computers. The family of a student targeted by the monitoring has filed a federal lawsuit against the Lower Marion District. The student, Blake Robbins, was photographed over 400 times during a 15-day period last year, sometimes as he slept or was half-dressed. The district used images from Robin's laptop to accuse him of consuming drugs, only to realize that what it thought were drugs was actually candy. 